Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the shop and looking at the new cars, we actually don't have any new ones in the shop this update. First off, if you go into settings and go to promo codes and put in code don't see me, you'll get a brand new wrap. And this is what it looks like. This is a pretty cool wrap. And let me know down in the comments if you like it as well. And now we'll head over to Japan because most of the update is over here. And heading into the quest, we have one new car, the Mori 15 Extreme. And a new exhaust effect, glow lines, and a new wrap, rainbow polygons. To start off, I'm going to show you all five barn finds in Japan. Starting off with the first barn find, which is right down here, if you go to this transport trailer. And head over here, you'll see the very first barn. And for the next location, head to this spot right here, Anaka. And go behind these buildings over here. The next one, head over to this trailer delivery spot right here. And it's right here. It's hiding right next to this building here. The next one, head over to Kashi Dirt Park. And go in this direction and you'll see it. Now for the very last barn, head over to this spot right here. And the barn is right here. And you'll be given the car. At stock, it has a horsepower of 1,089 and a score of 1,046. Looking at the dyno, the V12 might make it faster acceleration, but the top speed is worse. And I'm not actually sure which of these cranks is actually better. I think that the raced one makes you a higher top speed, but a slower acceleration, so you can choose whichever one you want. And here are the customizations for it. And as you can see, they've updated the tires a little bit. So if you head into paint and go to tires, you can actually change the color of the tires to any color you like now. And here are what all the new tires look like. And really, I don't think it's worth customizing this as it looks really good like this and taking off anything, it would just look like the normal Mori 15. And looking at license plate, we actually have a few new ones. So you can have a more Japan feeling car or a more Golden Valley feeling car. When the Mori 15 Extreme is maxed, it has a score of 1,868 and a horsepower of 1,869. And at max, it's able to get around 325 miles per hour, but on the Japan map, it's almost impossible to keep this speed. Now, moving on to the race updates, Around Japan has gotten its race payout updated to 7.5 thousand. Now we have a new race called Takashi Acrobatic.
This race is pretty cool, and I bet it's going to be really fun to do this race in restrictions. The only issue with this race is you have to make sure to slow down enough so you don't overshoot that one jump. Don't worry about why I look like this. But going into the customizations of the S34, you can see that they added some body kit options. And I think this one is really cool. And with that being said, I'm going to go grind these other two weekly challenges so we can check out these new customizations. And there we go, we have finished the two quests. And now let's collect them and check out how good they are. Starting off with the wrap, we have rainbow polygons. Changing the color of this, you're able to get some pretty cool color designs. And even it in the plain color is good. This is definitely worth grinding for. And here is the new nitrous effect. As you can see by the name, it creates a glowing line behind you. And I think this effect is also really cool. This is definitely one of the best. And this one also gives you the ability to completely hide your nitrous, as you can see. It doesn't even show anything when you make it black. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.